Shazam! Alrighty, folks. Got a brand new intake for it. So I spent the money and $162. That's what it gets you. So pretty nice. It's got the four corner uh, cooling too. So I'm going to block off the back too. So got one there, one over there. I'm going to block those off. TBI only had one. So yeah. That's only got one on the TBI. It doesn't have nothing on this side. But I'm going to block them all off. I had to get a flush mount plug for the one next to that distributor there. And uh, that way I can be able to advance and retard my distributor there. Because the vacuum advanced canister, when you would, uh, I think it's advanced, it, it would hit. So that's what I got here. I spent the money and wanted to get a nice intake for it. And uh, got this is a Vortex style intake. That's definitely Vortex because it's got the bolt holes going straight down. And uh, some people actually go in there and I wouldn't be against doing it. I'd love to do it. But they'll actually go in here and drill the two holes right here underneath the intake here. And uh, these bolt holes here, but a different angle would be the old style angle like it. But they'll actually go and add those two there and then add them on the other side as well it's a lot easier to do on this style intake here but it's actually got the bosses for uh, fuel injection too now i've always known about this i don't know if it's a lot not a lot of people i think know about this but anytime you get aluminum intake a lot of them nowadays even just the old cheapo ones it don't have to be a this is a high rise is what they call it i don't call it a true high rise a true high rise would be you know on up to here and it would have to like a quad intake here have two fours on it and be on up to here but uh nah, this is more like a mid-rise maybe but uh but the boss is right here on a lot of these aftermarket intakes not just this particular style but if it's got these bosses on it those are actually made you know what they're made for they're actually made to be machined out so you can put fuel injection on here a lot of people don't know that but see how it's got two there two there you know because you got four there so you got four cylinders on that side and you got four on this side which you know v8 that's actually what those bosses are for is you can actually machine them out and put fuel injection on this intake if you actually want it and you could put an aftermarket sniper um efi or holly or something like that which i'd i'd love to do something like that but i, I just you know i can't afford that i'm i'm a poor country uh show you tree guy here i can't afford that and plus it's just too many headaches with it not really worth it but i'm just happy i got the intake and uh i'm gonna have to get the self-aligning roller rockers for it like i said i, I like these heads they're good heads you know there's nothing wrong with them but uh i already starting to flash rust darn it i'm sorry I have to get some paint on them i like these heads they're good heads i don't mean nothing bad about them they're not really a can of worms i shouldn't have said that but uh but it's just a little aggravating because it's kind of my fault in one way but another way i wish they would have put that in the description a little bit better maybe put it in bold or something but i wish they would have put in there that these bosses aren't machined for guide plates because if they would have machined these for guide plates and the regular screw in studs and it's got like a regular nut so you can torque them down i'm not sure how you would torque these down i'll let them put two nuts on it and torque it down like that but i uh, supposed to be able to put loctite on them and torque them down but that's besides the point if they would have machined them down so you can put guide blades and uh hard push rods that way you can run the regular roller rockers i would have been happy because to me guide plates and screwing studs is a lot better set up than running the self-aligners that's just my opinion but you know i'm gonna have to run the self-aligning ones i'm not gonna sit there and pull them back off and pay you know two three hundred dollars whatever it costs to ship them back down there i mean i'm kind of exaggerating a little bit but whatever it costs to ship them down there plus another 200 and some you know um change to you know have them machined down it's just not worth it but that's the only thing about the tbis i do like better is you know they got all the slots in them. I mean, you can put regular old style full roller rockers on it and they gotta worry about it but uh that's all i think about the vortex i don't like but i think when i know now i do like the intake better it's a lot easier to get an aftermarket intake for a vortex 
than it is a TBI because it's a lot of intakes out there that have the TBI bolt pattern here in the angle here, but they machine these out so you can drop in there like a drop in piece there that has the old style angle for like an old style heads for generation one heads and then it's got this style right here for the TBI heads. So I don't like them. To me, it's gonna look like crazy. I, I wouldn't use them. Them intakes, in my opinion, are just junk. But uh, they do actually make aftermarket intakes that are, you know, it's one piece like this intake here. It's none of that uh, junk style stuff where they machine it out for both angles and they just drop in whenever you need. But they make a one piece, you know, you just, it's already machined at the correct angle for TBI heads. But those intakes are very expensive. And, uh, you know, I just, you can get the El Tipo ones where they drop in like that, but just uh, don't buy them. They're just junk. You're going to have oil seeping and puddling and everything else all up through there. These intakes I like, but hopefully this one will seal up real good. I hope so. So later on, I think I'd like to, uh, you know, have the four holes put in the middle, but I'm not too worried about it. But I'd like to do some machine work to this Vortec one day. I'd like to put guide plates in it, put screw-in studs, regular screw-in studs, hardened push rods, and then drill for the old angle, like this angle right here, not that angle. But uh, that is two different angles if you look at it. But not this, but the angle of the hole is different versus that. Yeah, now you can see it angled back a little bit. But uh, I think if you had to build a choose between a TBI and a Vortec, and here we go again, I'm gonna give much slack for it. I'd go with the TBI because it has a steel factory time and chain cover on it. So it's still got the, the uh, factory steel cover on it. You ain't going to worry about all that. Now, this is for converting it back old school. You know, I'm not running fuel injection or none of that. It has nothing to do with that. But the TBI is nice. You got a steel time and chain cover. It's still on, you know, the older blocks. You probably can run a mechanical fuel pump. I don't know. It's kind of 50 50 on those. Vortex is kind of. I don't know, it's more like 10% chance of it, you know, being to run a mechanical fuel pump or not. But uh, TBI is a little more high likely where you can still run a mechanical fuel pump on it. Still can run the steel time chain cover. And then the nice thing about the uh, Vortec 2 is, you know, it's got regular slots in there and you can run regular full roller rockers on it going down the road with it and you ain't got to worry. So I think, in my personal opinion, plus you got the roller cam. You, know, you got to have a roller cam nowadays. It's just me. But I think the TBI is the better engine to uh, build there, in my personal opinion. But uh, the only really difference between the Vortec, really, is the time chain cover. And then it probably has this boss on the side. All the Vortecs have this boss on the side for the power steering bracket. The TBIs don't have that. That's a bolt hole down there see it but it's got the boss there that's how you can tell the vortex between the tbi and that's about it really and most vortex don't have a mechanical fuel pump provision this one's drilled halfway through but not all the way so. but if i had the money i'd have that i'd have this block machined out and I would fix it so it could run a mechanical fuel pump. That's really what it needs. And then I would drill the four holes for the intake so I could get eight bolts in this intake. Or 12 bolts, I mean, sorry. We could get all uh, 12 bolts back in there. It'd help it seal a lot better. And uh, that's what I'd like to do to it. And then have guide plates and screw ins to us put in. But see, if you had a TBI, you wouldn't have to worry about the cylinder heads. You would still have, you know, the 12 bolt pattern there, and then you still had the time chain cover. But I, I think the TBI is the better one to build. That's just my personal opinion. But I just want to uh, show this intake here, and uh, you know, it's what $162 shipped gets you. So. That's what we got, so I'll debate on if I'm going to paint it or not. I might paint it the factory black. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Might leave it alone. Might paint it factory black. We'll see. I don't know. I really don't want to. I thought about painting this motor orange, Chevy orange, but I don't know. It don't look right on these newer Vortex style motors. I don't know. I like this bolt pattern a lot better, though. I do like it a lot better. It's a lot less issues versus the old bolt pattern. 
I always hate it trying to get these bolts out, like on the old Gen 1 pattern, especially if you go on a cast intake. You had to get like a swivel in there sometimes, like on 283 or something like that, or get a wrench and grind the side of it off. I know y'all old timers know what I'm talking about, to get it down in there to get that bolt out. And uh, some of them would break off and oh, man, be pulling your hair out. But that's the best thing they ever did is angling them back. That's probably why they did that. And then they got rid of them. I'm not a fan of that, so. Oh, well. But I think it'll be all right. The way I look at it is if a Vortec, you know, will go 100,000 plus miles without doing intake gaskets, I'm sure this one will be just fine. Especially brand new heads. It's sitting nice, too. It's sitting flush. So. It is old Chinese M intake, so you kind of get what you pay for, but. Hopefully it'll be all right. Got the heater hose. We'll use this one for the heater hose. And then this one will probably, I don't know if I'll use that one or not, or if I'll use this one. I'll probably use this one. But one of these we'll make for our uh, temperature sending unit. And then we'll keep that for our heater hose there. Probably block that one off and then block these two off back here. That shouldn't hurt anything. I don't think so. But, uh, but that's the plan. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. Got a ram horns on here, so it's finally coming together. And just waiting on my self line roller rockers, and I am going to go all the way with it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get the full roller rockers. So I just I thought about going with the Vortex stamp steel ones, but I don't want to do that. The factory rocker arms, I just don't want to do that, you know, because I'm going through all this effort. So I want to make it the way I want to make it, you know. So we're gonna go a step further and. I got them on the way, so they're the self-lining full roller rockers, so hopefully they'll work out okay, and they weren't cheap, so. But, I like things to be a certain way. I'm very particular how I want it done, and I don't like halfway doing stuff, and, and uh, you know, this motor's got to last. It's got to last, so that's why I'm putting all this effort into it. It's just about everything is brand new on the top end, new intake brand new valve covers and what i was getting at i was talking about how much money i got into it but the hits were 720 dollars shipped so they weren't too bad i just wish they were machined for guide plates and screw in studs where well, i actually guide plates really but it is what it is but they're good hits though they look like they'd be all right but 720 dollars for the cylinder hits shipped from north carolina and uh, that's a good place. I'll definitely order from them again, but I'll definitely got to read in the description a little better. It's not their fault, but it's all the way at the end. Not machine for guide plates. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, got to make sure and read the fine print there, but that's my fault. But the hits were 720. The intake was 162. The valve covers were 125, I believe. And this ram horn, I bought that a while back. Not really specifically for the Vortec, but I bought a while back. Oh, no, that's right. I bought that one when I put that 305 in here. That was, I believe, 55 to $60, somewhere in that range. And then this one over here is the one I bought for the 305. Well, I actually bought both of them there. But this one was the one I replaced because the ear or the exhaust bolts up down there on them studs was cracked. It was just junk. So I bought this one. Uh, repop exhaust manifold and that was i want to say it was a little cheaper maybe 45 50 something like that and then the melanized distributor gear for the factory roller cam you got to have a melanized you got to have the right distributor gear for a roller cam you know if you don't it's going to chew it up or or it's going to you know eat it up it's going to do something bad but that was a hundred and i think 10 something like that so and then plus another almost 150 200 for the full roller rockers, the self-aligning ones, and just eat you up, it really does. But and then I'm probably going to go on later on. It's raining here on me, but I'm probably going to go on and get a high-volume aluminum long water pump for it too. So that's something else I want to look into getting. But anyway, it's starting to rain on me here, so I just wanted to show this. Now, I got some money wrapped up in it for sure. See y'all later. Bye.